What's up? Welcome to another collective video. My name is Leah and I am a tarot and oracle reader. Um, I make other videos besides reading videos, but right now I'm doing collective videos. If you don't know what that is, it means that it's a group of people all around the world um, with a similar situation in terms of their kind of life journey. And I have really awesome messages throughout these videos that pop up, uh, allowing you to have access to knowledge that it's there within you, but it's kind of hard to see. So I kind of clarify the confusion. I sort out what it is that um, is kind of like helps you blossom, helps you get through the dark night of the soul, um, helps you feel like the phoenix rising from the ashes of your past. So we're going to start with this card. We have, I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. So feeling good is something that is very much so on your mind lately. Um, it's something that I'm getting, you've been trying to understand how to release the past conditioning that you had and how to renew with what you know feels good for you now uh, compared to in the past. Okay, so let me get it all set up. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm talking a mile a minute. But there is something about how um, taking a minute actually is coming up. Uh, I'm hearing something about the patience is where you can allow that what you want to have happen uh, to come in. The patience is a way for you to save your energy when it comes to future events where it's like the divine knows that like let's say six months ahead of time in the future, it's gonna be really hectic for you. So the divine right now is like telling you, let's take a chill pill, let's save our energy, um, let's save it so that in the future when this busy season comes in, you have enough energy, you have enough focus. Um, Cause I'm also getting that with the patients, with you working in more of a patient form, you're going to be able to really mold that um, the future you a lot more, a lot more calmly, where it's not rushed, and you have time to integrate what you want to integrate, and you have time to release what you want to release. Because um, I'm getting that. How you really have improved your self-collective member is by kind of rushing yourself and trying to get through the process of improving. When I'm getting that right now, it's important to focus on the process itself, to focus on yourself every day in essence of seeing where you're at every single day. Uh, we have, as soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redirect my power toward what I want. So yeah, that's where this patience does come in. Because you can absolutely redirect any, any thought of yours. But it has to be in the present moment. Um, your past self and your future self they don't have as much power in terms of change and what you can change compared to you in the present moment right now. So maybe I can like help you convince you a little bit too, maybe help you see that there really is a lot of golden opportunities within integrating and embodying a patient like perspective on improvement. When I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself, okay? I uh, I just kind of said this a little bit earlier, but allowing yourself to slowly integrate and slowly release will also help you understand way more of why you want to integrate it or why you want to release it. 
When I merge my desire with faith, I take action from a place of peace rather than control. And so stepping into that patient perspective, this allows you to see what exactly you want to focus on in the moment of change. And there's going to be different priorities for you, a collective member, for you to focus on when it comes to what's important for you right now. I'm trying to emphasize and trying to get your focus to be where are you right now because I don't care about the past, okay? I don't care about the future. I care about your present self right now. We're going to release, all right? With me, if you can, I ask you to breathe with me so we can come and focus on the present. Three deep breaths, that's all. Okay, so we're really in this present moment, okay? And this is something to, you know, I'm hearing every single day, integrate, integrate that present awareness. Um, and throughout your day too is what I'm getting to. And it, it like literally those three deep breaths, that could be all for you. However it is for you is like it feels right. And you're like, yeah, that's for me. Um, I release the need to control my present environment. Y'all, I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> Like literally the cards are saying exactly what I'm saying. Okay, not exactly, but for the most part, they are. Um, there's something so like life-changing, like radical change, and it's within you. The radical change is something that um, I've done throughout my life without realizing it, but it's like you accept once and for all that you... You want it so bad that you're like, okay, that's it. The old way is done. It's like the death card in tarot where the old is out and the new is in. Yeah, kind of like you gave birth to this whole kind of like wanting to see yourself. Because I'm getting that you see yourself so pessimistically. Like you see yourself so much like you rain on you rain on the parade but in reality it's not you it's other people in your life who do that and you're just trying to adapt to um the gloominess that other people do kind of put on your parade why does reading tarot oracle cards for my living feel so right okay so this, it's not specifically for tarot or oracle readers, but this is talking about a dream you had in terms of you living this dream. Um, and you had it throughout your years of conditioning as a kid and to who you are now as an adult. Um, if you are an adult, if you're still a kid, you got it. Save your childlike energy, please, because the world needs it. We need it. I need I need some childlike energy, my goodness. But what the card is trying to say is <sighs> your desires are meant for you. They're meant to be lived out in your life. And you are the person to make it happen. And it is going to be when you decide in the present moment, making those radical changes for you. Who cares about other people at this point? Who cares about it? Because what I see also is you've been trying to pick up pieces of your own life that other people have decided to throw off and leave to the dust. Um, it's like kind of like I'm getting that the more that you integrate into your focus of the present moment, of your present moment, the more that you're going to start to feel appreciated about you and you're not going to feel like you're tossed to the side all the time by other people. Um, yeah, I let go of fear. If you can let go of fear, then you absolutely can get to a point where nothing is going to stand in your way when it comes to what is impossible because 
Um, the fear is nothing more than just procrastination on something that actually is like gold for you. Um, another thing also to know is fear is typically rooted from some other person's energy and they kind of convinced you or something, something to do with like, it just needs to be embodied in your present moment. And you have to like allow your fear to say like, okay, hold on. Let me get my, let me get my thoughts right. Okay. So if you do want to integrate into letting go of fear, the best way to do it that I found in my experience is to integrate it through your present awareness, your present body. Um, and that means radical change. Like right now, you say to yourself, I let go of fear. And there's something about also allowing yourself to feel safe, to feel heard, to feel supported. Um, is going to really help the fear be released with assurance, um, knowing that it's being released with love instead of pain, instead of hate, instead of anything less than. If you let go of fear with love, you're allowing the fear to um, have more of a freedom than restriction because it kind of goes out into the unknown in an excited way. We also have, I am in control of my mindset, okay? So your mindset is something that's really powerful for you. And being in the present moment is where you can actually use your mindset in way of it being powerful. Um, where you can literally part waves. You can literally part the Red Sea, you know what I mean, with your mindset. Uh, but there's something about this, it, it, it has to come from you. Like you have to get yourself, kind of like you have to convince yourself. Um, because it's like, I'm hearing you have to fake it till you make it. Yes, in stillness, I receive. So fake it till you make it like, and it really is, I'm getting something about you are going to be the prize winner in this no matter what. Because I'm also getting that there's a tendency to pressure yourself when it comes to performance. Um, and that might be needing to be looked at when it comes to it, because it's kind of like you're restricting yourself as well. If you do have more of a cautionary tell when it comes to the end result of your performance. Um, kind of like I'm getting that there is fear when it comes to you judging yourself with the results of what you get. I'm getting that there hasn't been a lot of uh, feeling satisfied, satisfied for yourself when it comes to what you've improved in your life. Each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. So when you start to feel like you are judging yourself on your performance, allow yourself to kind of have like a therapy session with spirit and just talk to spirit about why you're judging yourself so harshly, or maybe not harshly, I'm going to take that back, but why you're judging yourself, period. Um, because spirit will allow you to receive the information of why it is that you judge in the first place. And it can be that it's not even from you that you believe this. You were told to believe it by other people who were like supposed to, you know, help you become an adult, but they conditioned you to be something else. <laughs> Directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. Um, the other thing is the tendency to focus on the lack uh, when it comes to improving your life that's coming up. So allowing yourself to see that there is good within the chaos, that there is actually order within the chaos, um, allows you to feel 
kind of like more motivated too, I'm getting, where you also have hope. Oh my gosh, that's very important. That's a good motivator for you to keep going. Uh, hope is. But yeah, there's something about like that focus. I'm getting focus. Allowing yourself to realize that in time when you can complain, what you're doing, I'm getting like when you, you know, when you change and everything is... Instead of complaining, you're going to spirit and you're having like a therapy session and you're you're figuring out why it is you're complaining and how to kind of move on from the irritable situation so that you can focus on more of what you want and you don't need to focus on what isn't going right because you've taken care of those emotional ties, because you've taken care of that connection to what is irritating because once you disconnect from that irritating stuff or whatever it's going to go out into the air and it's going to go wherever it needs to um, but it's not actually supposed to be connected to you it's supposed to be released from you and it's kind of like you have to do that no one else can I wish I could do that for you but I can't we all have to release our own baggage, and that is kind of like emotional too. We have two more cards, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I am kind and loving toward others while creating clear boundaries that protect my good feeling emotions. So boundaries could be a really great thing right now to focus on when it comes to these irritable situations, when it comes to these situations where you start to be more of the pessimistic version of you instead of the showstopper version of you. Um, because really that pessimistic version of you just wants to be heard and seen and appreciated and acknowledged for their own experience of this, whatever it is that irritated that part of you. You know, all you, all that part of you wants to be is to be heard and seen and acknowledged. Um, like it's equal as any other part of you, as your happy-go-lucky self. Um, yeah. So we have, I accept that, I accept that good things come easily. I am a super attractor. Man, that would be such a good kind of phrase to go through your mind especially if you are going to do the releasing process um and reminding yourself that this is for your highest good like this is for improving your life and you know when it comes to wounds when it comes to anything needing cleaned up you have to just clean up the dirt the grime and kind of underneath it there's a clean there's a there's a clean canvas waiting for you to paint your beautiful painting on, which is your life. You know what I mean? Okay, so that is going to be the end of the the, the story. <laughs> I love that. It's going to be the end of the reading. I really appreciate you being with me. Um, if you want to check out any of my other readings, by all means, feel free to do so. And uh, I have other videos too, like affirmation videos, pick a card videos, some life advice videos. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for stopping on by. And yeah, I, I hope you have a good time with this. Um, remember, patience is kind of the mode that you want to be on, be in as you go through this releasing and reintegrating what fits more for you. Okay, anyway, bye.